welcome back everyone in the last video we completed the drag and drop uh, designing in this video i will show you how to add the answer key uh, to this question add some events uh, to this uh, uh, answer key button when i click on answer key you will get uh, you will open this uh, form here here you get, you can uh, add the points here you can observe one thing uh, this input uh, do not go beyond uh, zero and you can uh, opt the option here bangalore or belgavi uh, i will select uh, bangalore and click on done and here uh, the answer key is set to this question uh, to check that open the console here you can see question one with the answer bangalore got printed here to hold the answer for the question to, you had three more property to the question object here this answer uh, that holds the boolean value either true or false and one more answer key with the empty string and points is that is set to zero these are the events uh, this function will add the answer key here it hold this variable question holds the state of the state component that is questions uh, this qno is the question number and answer is the answer key with the question uh, questions with the index of qno and uh, that property answer key will be set with the new value that is passed to this function and the state of the component will be updated and in the console it prints the question number and its corresponding answer this is a set option points function or uh, takes the parameter uh, points and the question number this function will be called uh, from the input element here and the points parameter will be uh, set to the new points uh, and the whole state will be updated here this add answer and done answer takes the uh, index as the parameter and these two will help in toggling effect giving the toggling effect uh, the answer property that having the boolean value in the beginning uh, the add answer function will be called uh, when user clicks on the add answer uh, element and the property uh, initially it will be false later it will be toggled and uh, set to true and with the done answer again it will be the st uh, property state will be false make some changes near uh, question boxes element uh, the initially the answer property will be false and this statement uh, and the discontent will be displayed here within the uh, question boxes uh, whenever the property will be property condition will be true the this will be displayed and when it is false you can choose the correct answer add this content here accordion details with the class name add question and the top header choose the correct answer uh, add top question you had the, you have two input elements here uh, one holding the question and that is disabled and the another is the in input uh, element that uh, has the step uh, one and the minimum value will be zero here you can call the function set option points passing the uh, value uh, of that uh, input component you add the on click event calling the set option answer uh, with uh, passing that index i of the that is the question number and the option text and below that you add the done answer here and passing the pass the question here index on click event will be called here when user clicks on the done button in the below you change some part of the code in the first part of the accordion uh, details code uh, you add the event here uh, it is add answer to this button add answer event will be called uh, when user clicks on the on this button let me explain you the concept that we used in designing the question form the this is the question object uh, we used to design question text that holds the question 
question type uh, that is type of that question radio or check box or the paragraph uh, that is and the options hold the option array to this question uh, that to only five elements maximum and the answer key uh, and required hold the and open these three properties uh, uh, will take the boolean values either true or false answer key and the points uh, point will uh, specify the the uh, marks are the points to that question answer key will hold the answer key for that question uh, in the second slide here you can see uh, accordion within that accordion we have accordion summary and accordion details this accordion summary uh, will give will show the question uh, when the quest when question dot open property is set to false this question will be displayed here later we added two more uh, uh, accordion details here the first accordion detail uh, that displays uh, the form that has the editable elements to modify options question uh, and that also makes call to the function add answer by, by passing the question index uh, that will modify uh, that will toggle uh, the answer uh, value here the boolean value uh, if it is false that will be set to true if it is true it is false uh, when this condition becomes false uh, it shows the uh, form that has the input uh, to set the points and also you can set the uh, option correct option this completes the question form designing in the next video we will start with the uh, uh, back end uh, using that node.js and also adding reducer to this project. Thank you.